you to encourage I encourage you to do that. Yeah. It's kind of just a negative space approach. Um, yeah, or more, you know, more loop. Yeah. <laughs> Are you filming? Oh, you're self drawing. Yeah. Hey, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel very lucky to live here next to the sea because Czech Republic doesn't have any sea. Yeah. I, I didn't actually, I did start with, with these shapes and then they were just not saying very much, but yeah. My favourite moment is this yeah. actually, it's yeah. so nice. Very loose. I like it, I think it actually really brings suits. the sunshine and in. also it? suits like how I feel. Yeah. Lovely. Look at the ship. Oh my goodness. It's a destroyer or a frigate. It's a frigate, I think. I think you can tell. I know nothing about the name, but because it's got an F on it, a F804. Yeah. I think that's called a frigate. A frigate. frigate. I may be telling a load of absolute rubbish, <laughs> but I think that's... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the rain with this microphone, but it's just horrendous outside. I mean, I'm not really complaining because I think I've had like three weeks without rain. So I went to LA for two weeks and then I came back in England for four days Oh, there's a dead fly on the ground. Wow, it's really dead. Oh, there's a tennis ball outside. Sorry, wow, I am so distracted. Um, I'm not used to vlogging anymore because <laughs> I haven't done it in so long, but it's okay. We'll chat, we'll chat. So yes, I came back to Plymouth for four or five days and then we went to Egypt for our birthdays um, It was so warm. The weather was perfect all the time No clouds. Well, it was cloudy sometimes during the evening, but clouds mean nothing in Egypt It doesn't mean rain. It doesn't mean gloominess and I got pretty tanned um, you can't really see because I'm in the shadow right now. So I realized that in the past I get quite sad when the weather looks like this because I didn't plan ahead on what to do during these moments. But today I've planned things to keep myself busy and one of them is putting together a clothes rack shelf thing because uh, I've got too much clothes and there's nowhere to put it so I need another unit to store it and I also got some new wooden hangers and those little uh, pincer crab hangers for skirts and stuff so we're gonna do that today and then we're gonna build a puzzle I want to do more things that involve reading oh, 
by the way, sorry, I'm getting really distracted. My head is all over the place because I haven't spoken in front of a camera in so long. I finished A Little Life and let me tell you about it. Like, I don't know if you've read it or not. I've already had a rant on Instagram and quite a few of you DM'd me about it to talk about it and I've responded truthfully. That book, like, it's just... It's literally trauma porn, and I don't understand how you can relate to that or, like, be into it. I mean, for me personally, I like it when I can relate to a book. I can't even, like, talk about it. It makes me so mad. I'm mad because of the main character, like... There was no improvement from the beginning of it until the end of it. Like, I felt like, because by the time I'm on page, I don't know, 700 or something, it felt like I read that book five times already. It's just the same story. It's the same train of thoughts. I love seeing a character grow and develop. I love to see how their thoughts change over time, over events. But I feel like for Jude, and maybe don't listen if you want to read the book or you're reading it, like just skip this part. But for Jude, I just, I didn't witness that change. I think in order for me to feel really deeply and moved and heartbroken by something, I need to have felt the highs in order for me to feel the lows. But for this book, it was just low, 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 all the way through. There was no highs. There were no, I don't know. Like, for me, I just didn't feel any joy or happiness. It was just crumbling sadness and trauma. For Jude's story, I'm just like, there ain't no way that humanity is this rotten for him, like just time after time again in a consecutive order. I just, I just cannot believe. I refuse to believe that humanity is like this. I really wanted to love the book. I really wanted to have a good cry. I love crying. Um, <laughs> I'm a proud crier and I didn't cry at all. So, let me know how you guys think. Okay. Okay. No. Ah. So I got my nails done for Egypt. And they're growing quite long now. This is like the longest I've had them. You can't see it from there. I'll show you. This is the longest I've had them and they feel so uncomfortable. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of them. This is gonna be fun. Yeet! Okay, this doesn't look bad. Okay, that's better. I should set a goal on how, how long it's gonna take me. 1224. Okay, let's say 1220 I started. I wanna be done by in half an hour. So 1250.
It's 12.48, so I did it. Ta-da! I'm gonna have to move that art somewhere else, but yeah, it's done. What are some shows that you guys are watching right now? Um, but keep in mind, I'm in the UK, so I think a lot of the shows in the US aren't here. But let me know on what to watch. Ooh, that's loud. I'm gonna pick something to watch and eat my breakfast, lunch, I guess. Okay. Bye. Welcome to part two of clothes, 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 clothes rack installation. Can't talk. I also want to show you some new pieces that I got. And one of them, they're these little skirts from free people and i think there were only 32 pounds which is a bargain these days and it's all flowy and stuff i wore this all the time when i was in egypt there's this top right and i got it before i went to nice um like the south of france and i thought it was really cute but now I feel like it's just a bit too medieval for me. And I think the issue is the sleeves. I really like how it's like a corset lacy feel here and the button down. But I think with this sleeve, it's just a bit too much. So I want to go to the seamstress and get it cut so it's a short sleeve. And I was thinking like, you know, baby cap sleeves with a bit of a ruffle at the end. I don't know what they can do about it, but surely they can cut away these medieval looking sleeves because I don't want to walk out looking like Juliet. Do you know what I mean? I love this skirt so much. The details at the end is just perfect. I also got it on Depop. It's a bit too big for me. It says size 40. I have no idea what that means. I think it's European. But I've got a belt and I never wear belts. So this is like the only one that I own. Look at it. It's got stars and it's studded. And I feel like this would be really cute. This is also from Free People. I thought this was the perfect outfit to complement this new bag that Songmont has sent me. This is the Drippy Roof Bag in gray. The Drippy Roof Bag draws inspiration from traditional Chinese architectural roof, capturing the essence of modern Eastern aesthetics through its fluid curves and overhanging eaves, giving an elevated sense of luxury when paired with any outfit. It's meticulously crafted with premium leather that offers a structured shape with a supple touch. It forms a relaxed and organic streamlined silhouette when filled with your belongings, creating an effortless style. Something that's incredibly unique about this bag that I think it's so helpful and a genius idea are these flaps on the sides. You're able to put your phone here like, how convenient is that? So when I've been using this bag, I've been putting my phone here and sticking lipstick, gum, chapstick in the back here. I love the simplicity of the bag, making it really easy to dress down or up depending on your day. You can easily wear like white trainers with this or loafers or some kitten heels. Like literally anything goes with this. This is the puzzle. I can't even find the edge pieces.
Why is it so dark? I see you did work for the Guardian. Oh yeah, yes. I did too. That's awesome. I'm supposed to be doing another one at the end of this month, but she hasn't given me the brief yet, and I don't really know if it's still happening. Yeah. But I've done two. Do they reach out to you, or do you um, contact people? How are you getting these? They reached out to me, but I email art directors. I just emailed on my website, but I think I emailed The Guardian like eight months ago, yeah. so I don't really know if there's any correlation between emailing them or maybe they just found me yeah. on Instagram, I don't know. As usual, we'll be finished by the time I'm set up. <laughs> <laughs> made real money. Really? Yeah, it's over 100,000. Well, you know, you've had lots of them, but it's over 100,000 views. Wow! 
from a couple weeks ago? I haven't been on YouTube in a long time. Well, it's okay. I know you don't really follow me. <laughs> I do follow you. <laughs> I followed you, like, since the beginning. Sure. <laughs> Before you started making YouTube videos. It's true, yeah. They talk about those moments briefly, and they just insert those clips in, like, yeah. really fast. And so the B-roll is more prevalent than just Oh, me. was this... Am I supposed to wear this mic? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Only if we want to hear you. I think most of the um, stuff I'll put in of us talking was at the beginning. Right. Before I took off. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not even filming right now, so... <laughs> like oh, God. Yeah. So you can see this is giant. I, I do. Well.